Hello everybody, my name is Nico D and I am a Windows user. I know it's shameful to say, it is hard for me to say, but well. And now we are changing that! So I have installed ARM in Jammy on my main desktop PC and I've been using it now for a few days and I love it. I really do love it. Everything works. I am used using Armbian on SBCs, on ARM SBCs. They're not always everything is working, so everything is working on my x86 PC. I have been using Armbian before on my old x86 PC to build Armbian images. So my old x86 PC was an, is an Armbian build server. Uh, with Armbian, I also uh, used Armbian in a virtual mode, so uh, with virtual, not virtual box, but VWare, I don't know, with VMware. So today I am going to show you how to install Armbian x86 onto an SSD, this one. So we are going to use Linux for this. I've tried it with Windows and Windows doesn't allow to write an image to an SSD. So uh, that was a problem, but Linux doesn't make a problem out of it. So I'm going to use GNOME Discs to write Armbian onto this. I am now using a Samsung EVO 870, I think, 860, uh, with a USB 3. So that is how I am booting uh, Armbian right now. But I will put this SSD inside of my PC because now I am convinced that I want to use Armbian as a main desktop. So everything I wanted from it works. There is nothing I can find that doesn't work except for gaming. I can't play games of course. Uh, the Nvidia drivers are installed so I've got an Nvidia graphics card, a 1650. Uh, so that does work, we can play games, but of course uh, some games don't work out of the box and I didn't want to search for example for Anu 1800, I would have to reinstall it, but I've got my save files from Windows, so I thought I'm not gonna do the hassle. So let's install Armin onto this and I will show you how I used everything, how I installed everything, how I set up everything. So here we go! So first off, to download Armbian for x86, we go to the Armbian download page and there we have got generic Intel AMD. So here we have got Armbian Bullseye Gnome and Armbian Jammy Gnome. I don't like the Gnome desktop, I really hate it even. So here we have got Cinnamon, but I want Jammy, so Jammy Cinnamon, I am going to download this and then write it onto my SSD. So here it is downloaded, so all I need to do is extract it. Actually I don't need to do that I think. So once that is extracted I open Gnome Discs. So here it is. So now I have to plug in my SSD. So here is my SSD. So there is already Armin installed on it. I remove all my partitions. And then I click the settings button and there restore disk image. Then select the image and burn it onto my SSD. And after that reboot my computer. Now I go into my BIOS by pressing the delete key and there I make sure that the correct file system is selected for boot. So it is correct here. Now it should boot into Armbian. So I shouldn't forget about this. There is a giveaway for the Banana Pi M5. So this is an ARM single board computer. If you are not uh, from the ARM world, you can get this for free from Armbian. Go to the link in the description here below. So this is a quad core. This has got the Amlogic S905 
X3 SOC. It has got 4 gigabytes of RAM. So uh, it also has got USB 3, it has got gigabit Ethernet, it has got HDMI, it has got 3.5mm uh, audio jack, it has got USB-C for power. So it is a very nice board, it is just like the old right C4. So uh, if you'd like a board like this, go to the Armbian giveaway. And I don't see anything on my display. Again. Okay, here it is. So it is the first time I boot with this. So I first have to create my new root password. Then we have to choose our default system command shell. I am using ZSH on my installation on my Samsung SSD, but I forgot about it and I chose bash here, but ZSH is a little bit better. It is nicer to work with. Then the username. So that is Nico D for me. Connect my Wi Fi. I choose no because I want English and not Dutch. And then we can boot into our desktop for the first time. And here we are in Armbian Jammy with the Cinnamon desktop. So immediately there is a problem for me. So this is in 4K, I've got a 4K display, but my display isn't big enough to use it at 4K. So I need some scaling, but there is a small problem there. So there is 2 times scaling, but not 1.5 times scaling. And that is what I want, so that would be the same as using 1440p. But there is a solution for it, it is a bit a janky solution, but it works. So we open the display settings, we choose double scaling and then we have to open the NVIDIA driver software. And there we choose 1440p display resolution scaled. If we do that, then we can change our scaling in our normal display settings. So this fixes the biggest issue that I had the first day I was using it at 2 times scaling, but that is just like using a 1080p display and for that my display is way too big, but it is too small for using at 4K, so the 1440p scaling is perfect for me. And now I open a terminal and I type sudo apt update. If you are new to Linux, this is how to update our package lists. And then sudo apt upgrade to upgrade the packages. So this is one advantage Armbian has versus normal Ubuntu. So Armbian doesn't use snap. Armbian still uses apt. And I like apt a lot more. It is a lot faster. It works a lot better. I don't like snap. But I do use snap for some packages that are not in the apt sources. So while I'm waiting for the upgrade to finish, I will copy some background images I once made for Armbian. So here they are. And now I right click on the desktop and I select change desktop background. There I click the plus button. And I choose my folder. So home pictures Armbian backgrounds. And I open that. Here they are. So let's select this one and now on settings I set play backgrounds as a slideshow every 5 minutes change one and play images in a random order. So now the background images will change every 5 minutes. I like that. So now let's take a look at what software is installed. So here is accessoires. And here we have got graphics, so GIMP is installed, Pinta is installed, Rebo Office Draw. Then at internet we've got the Chromium browser, the Firefox browser and Google Chrome. We also have got Thunderbird Mail, Transmission for Torrent Files, Putty. And Office we have got the full LibreOffice suites. And Programming, Genie, Melt. So Genie is my favorite text editor in Linux. 
So in Windows I am using Notepad++ and this is the closest to it. So now let's continue our exploration. Good, then we have got MPV for playing video files, nothing else. Then we have got administration and preferences with all our settings. There is also a separate system settings window over here. So let's start Firefox. So let's test the video playback. Of course this is an x86 PC and a modern x86 PC. So this should play YouTube pretty well. The only thing it didn't play from videos online was the Belgian national television websites. But I don't watch that much. And that's their fault too. It isn't Armbian's fault. It doesn't work on any Linux distro. So uh, I needed something to... To relax and uh, to do. So I needed some time to relax and I had it, so I'm very happy, I'm thankful to the guys to take me with them and to be able to have a bike here, that's also nice, so uh, I love climbing. So the video playback is perfect, even at 4K display resolution and 4K files it plays perfect. So let's install some software that isn't installed yet. So I need Caden Live, of course, to make my videos like I am doing now. Then Blender. I use Rhythmbox to play my MP3 files from my NAS. Only Rhythmbox does it well. I've tested a lot of other programs and Rhythmbox does this well. And I also install VLC for video playback. Now while that is installing, let me open Firefox and let's browse to my router. Here it is. Enter my password. So here I can see all my other devices on the network. The IP addresses of them. So I will need that in a little bit. This is also something I like a lot. So that you can drag the windows to the sides and that it's puts them either in the corner or uh, in the middle. I like this a lot. I use this a lot. This is one of the main reasons that I am sticking with Cinnamon. So everything is installed. Let's now SSH into this computer. So the Orange Pi Plus. That is my old NAS that I'm gonna replace next week. I have got the Nano Pi R6S to replace my old Orange Pi Plus. So the problem is when we go to the network and then Windows network there is nothing there. This does work on ARM. Not sure if it works on Cinnamon. It works on XFCE for sure. So for that I'm gonna install Tuner. Tuner is the file manager of XFCE. And I'll open Tuner by typing Tuner in the terminal. Here it is. The easy thing with Tuner is you can just type here SFTP colon slash slash and then the IP address of my Orange Pi Plus. My credentials. And here I am in my Orange Pi Plus. So media D, and here is my hard drive with my mp3s on it. So now let's open Rhythmbox and what I need to do is drag my mp3s folder to the music library here. It will take a long time before everything is opened because I've got a lot of mp3s. It took me about two hours I think to load all the files but once they are loaded I can play them as much as I want. So I'm happy that this works. On Windows I use Winamp. 
and this is the closest to it. I also installed two taskbar applets, so one for the CPU temperature and the other is a system monitor. So to install them you search for monitor and then you will find these. So I am using the system monitor and the sensor monitor. You will also have to install this package GUR1. It is not the package GURL. For the GURL package there are unmet dependencies, so I can't install that. Of course I installed Nexus and I'm running it at 4K just because I can. I'm used to playing it on Oldroid N2 Plus at 1080p, but I don't see much difference on 4K. It runs great and that is expected. It is an old game and it is actually the only game that I've played the last days. I've got Wine installed so I can play a lot of games, but I don't play that many games. So if I have Nexus and Xenotic, then I am happy. For a gaming session, I can always boot into my windows. I've been using Caden Life to make this video. I am used to using Caden Life. I use it on Windows 2. It is cheap because it is free, so it is very good. And I use Audacity to record my audio. So in productivity everything works as it should. See some benchmarks compared to some SBCs. Here are the results of 7-zip all-core decompression. So my Ryze 3700X got 58,499 MIPS. The Oldroid N2 Plus 11,755. RK3399 7,607. Kadas Fim 4 with 8 cores 14,138. The Kadas Edge 2 also 8 cores 16,901. And then the Banana Pi M5, the one from the giveaway, 7278. For a quad core it is doing good, but nothing comes close to my 16 threads of AMD power. But we are getting there slowly. And as last here the single core results, so 4688 for the Ryzen 7, Kadas Edge 2 comes closest with 2930 for the big cores. Oldroid N2 Plus 2518 and then the others you can read. So it is a joy for me switching to Armbian on my x86 PC. I like it a lot, it feels a lot cleaner to work on. There isn't so much bloat as in Windows. Everything works as it should work. There is nothing that I need more except maybe gaming but that is also possible on here. You just have to put a little bit more effort into it to get Windows games working. For me this is the ideal operating system, because I'm used to using Armbian on other devices. You don't have to install it, so there is no problem with grub. You just have to burn it onto an USB device, or an SSD or a hard drive. It uses apt and not snap, that is also a good thing. And it is great to have the same OS on all my devices. So I'm gonna leave it at this. I'm gonna keep using Armbian on my x86 PC because it just works. Don't forget to sign up for the giveaway for the Banana Pie M5. All subscribe to my channel, please like this video, see you all later, bye!